Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Darren Gilbert, I'm Evan Skilleter, and we are in the nest in New Bremen as the Cardinals welcome the Botkins Trojans for a non-conference Saturday night matchup. Excited to be with you. Great environment here, Darren. Turn the lights off for the player introductions, which you don't see everywhere you go. Well, not only that, but, you know, the student spirit is really good, and, and they're going to have, a what, 84 cheerleaders coming out, <laughs> grades K through 6 at halftime. But, yeah, the atmosphere is electric tonight. You know, both of these teams are... Even though they're different conferences, they're not that far away from one another. And you got a senior dominant team in New Bremen playing against a, a Trojan team that's had two really successful seasons back to back, but they, they're leaning on only two seniors. So it's going to be a really entertaining game tonight. It's the Botkins Trojans wearing the black, and it's a turnover to start this game as Aaron Tiemann scores at the other end. And just like that, we have our first score on the Charles River scoreboard. New Bremen comes into tonight 7-5, and 3-2 and two in the MAC. They start with Aaron Tiemann, Hayden Zeller, Cooper Scheib, Alex Homan, Evan Iink, and David Homan. And a basket for the Trojans, who are 8-6, and 4-4 four and four in the Shelby County Athletic League. They start with Carter Plyman, Colin Dosek, Ryland Paul, Brant Berger, and Jordan Herzog. You know, I remember two years ago, Mr. Plyman played on the perimeter, and now he's... He didn't play the point spot. He played more of a 3-4, a and now they run him with the point. That was a heck of a move he put on, you know, right there to get that first bucket for the Trojans. Ball gets tipped into the backcourt. Trojans wearing the black uniforms tonight. The Cardinals in the white. Everything appears to be a switch, whether it be a dribble handoff or a backdoor. This one inside and the basket good from Jordan Herzog. Nice pass by Dosek right there for the finish. Herzog, the second leading scorer on this squad, averages 7.6 per game and gives the Trojans a two-point lead. New Bremen back to work offensively. That's Alex Homan picking up his dribble. That pass errant and picked up by Jordan Herzog. Plyman, the all-everything man, gets into the post. And it's tipped away by New Bremen. Baseline out of bounds coming up for the Trojans. Yeah, the 6'5 senior leads them practically virtually every category. You know, talking to Superintendent McFerrin, he said last night at Jackson Center, he had 20 of the first 24, 21 points. Takes a deep three here. That's no good. Nice rebound by Evan Iink. Quickly the other way, a foul, and I believe it's on the ground. Referees having a quick chat about it, but it will be a baseline out of bounds. First foul of the game, and it's called against Colin Dosek, his first. Last night, New Bremen beat St. Henry 73-63. Botkins dropped that game to Jackson Center that Gil mentioned, 50-32. to Three-pointer up and no good. Rebound pulled down by Berger. Yeah, that game last night, I had a chance to listen to a little bit of the St. Henry game, and they just dominated the second half against a really, you know, good, well-coached team in uh, the Redskins. Three from the corner goes. Jordan Herzog with the basket. He has five of the seven points for the Trojans. When you can put three and four guys in double figures, you've had a successful evening, and that's what they did last night against St. Henry. Now David Homan, the quarterback on the wing, switches it over, three on the way from Alex Homan. Alex can't hit. Plyman grabbed the rebound, and then we had a foul. It's against Aaron Tiemann, his first, team first. You know, one of the comments was made to me before the game tonight was Botkins just didn't shoot it very well last night and dug themselves a hole. Well, guess what, they're on the road tonight and they've jumped on the first three minutes on the Cardinals, seven to two. Exactly what you're looking for. Trying to rebound from a conference loss. Plyman inside, now sends it to the corner. Three on the way, Ryland Paul. Look at that rebound, two strong rebounds from Evan Eying so far tonight. Well, he's athletic and explosive, isn't he? Speaking of athletic and explosive, David Homan gets inside. Now Eying's three goes. Nice dribble drive there by the senior Holman with the kick out beyond the arc for the three by Ink. 
Hawkins quickly the other way. The pass is tipped, but ends up in the hands of Carter Plyman. His three, too long, and a loose ball foul on the rebound. I think they got somebody with a push. If that's Dosek, that's two. It is indeed, so Dosek will have to take a seat. He'll be replaced by Noah Top, the six-foot sophomore. Seven five early here in New Bremen. The traveling Botkins Trojans on top. Here's Homan on the wing. Gives it up to Teeman. Swung back around to Homan. Good ball movement from New Bremen as they look for something inside. Not really a three point shooting team, although we've seen quite a few early on here, but that one's good inside from Alex Homan. Yeah, that was a really good jump stop by the young man. Got his body under control and banked it in. Back to work go the Trojans. Plyman backs his way down. Now a skip pass. Corner three. That's off the front. No good. Rebound tipped out and grabbed by Herzog. Quick three taken by Berger. That one goes. And... I think the referee thought there was a timeout taken, but there was not. So instead, we'll just get these substitutes entering the game. You know, real quick, Botkins, you know, their record's a little bit deceiving. They played a brutal schedule. Rushi, Jackson Center, Fort Laramie, Fort Recovery, you know, Springfield Shawnee, Marion Local. I mean, it just, it, it's been a brutal schedule, but you know what? Come tournament time, it's really going to help them. Absolutely. Turnaround jumper from Homan, no good. Here comes Plyman the other way. Six foot five senior. Can handle the rock. Can shoot, can get inside, can do just about anything you ask him to do. Now inside, go Botkins. Shot no good, but there he is, Mr. Plyman with the putback. Just plays hard at both ends of the court. He's got a nose for the basketball and just got a knack to, to be around it all the time. Jim Rat, I think they got a moving screen. They did indeed. They're gonna attack Ben Saylor with his first. Second against the Cardinals with 3.06 to go. In the first quarter, 12-7. Botkins on top on the Charles River scoreboard. You know, we can turn around and say the same thing about New Bremen. You know, they got to a slow start, but why did they have that slow start? Because they had success in the football team and the football field. And, you know, I know he's counting on these nine seniors, Coach uh, Stevens is, and they're starting to play better. And, you know, any, any coach knows that you want to be playing your best basketball towards the ends of January and into February right there before the tournament. It's absolutely true, and you see that all across Northwest Ohio with all the success we have on the football field. Many teams getting late starts, and we've got another foul on the floor. That's called against Ryland Paul, his first, third against the Trojans. You got Marion Local, you had Van Wert, Van Wert, you know, we were just talking before, they lost to Tuffy last night, double overtime to OG. I think they've had three losses of two or less points, so they're starting to put it together too. They're going to be dangerous in D2. Absolutely true. The Columbus Grove Bulldogs, another team that made a deep absolutely. run. Absolutely, and he's young. Coach Sodders, oh, you know, th those kids are playing better, and nice cut. Nice pass by Holman. Okay, that one put in by Carter Elking. Assist goes to the quarterback, David Holman. <coughs> Plyman tries to pass it inside. It was intended for Ryland Paul. Someone got a hand on it. I think it'll stay with the Trojans. Yeah, I just wonder how hard a basketball pass he throws during basketball practice. Right. You know what? He threw a tight spiral in football. Last time I was here in New Bremen was with you when we called the New Bremen basketball Minster, football wasn't game. It? Excuse I think it was me. Against it, Minster. it was indeed. Ryland Paul with the cut to the basket. Holman grabs the rebound. There's that lead pass, but this one over his intended target. Right idea. Mr. Holman tried to, to get that thing up there. He realized it was his fault and passed it on to his teammate. Live for another play. Hey. 
Botkins with it on the wing. That's Colton Plyman, 6'4", sophomore. Where's Van Bauer getting his hand on it, huh? Now a high arcing mid-range jumper, no good. And a foul against Botkins. So a lot of whistles being blown here in the first quarter. Six fouls total, four of those against Botkins. Interesting matchup, Baumbauer when he's on uh, Plyman. He played both this place so exceptionally hard. And Baumbauer's one of those kids that comes off the bench and just gives energy to the team. The coach's dream, no doubt. That shot, no good. Offensive rebound by Baumbauer, just like that, but his shot's blocked. Botkins the other way. Pass dropped off for Paul. Now Plyman against Baumbauer. I think they got Baumbauer with a, like a hand check into the back, which is impeding Plyman from making his move in the post area. Yeah, the referee said foul was on 14. Now he corrects it to 44, so you're right. It is against Baumbauer, his first and the third against New Bremen. All these fouls, but no shooting fouls. That one tipped away. Good job there by Holman with the deflection. Carter Plyman will inbound. He finds a Noah top. Top the to pass to Paul. Now Plyman. Plyman, skip pass. Three on the way. That's no good either. Both teams struggling from outside. That shot no good, but look at the effort from Carter Plyman. Plyman has six. His Trojans lead 14 to nine, make it 14 to 11. Hayden Zeller. Hayden Zeller with the bucket. Zeller is a pretty familiar last name in the basketball circles. I yeah. doubt it's any relation, but he is certainly a big man inside. For some reason, I thought there was one here a couple, three years ago that was 6'5", 6'6", six, 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 was yeah. really athletic in the post. Don't know if that's a relation, a cousin, or a brother. I think there's a hand check. Baumbauer's second foul. So with 9.8 on the clock, Plyman will inbound. Plyman looking, finds Ryland Paul. Now Jordan Herzog goes baseline, passes to the corner, and no touch from New Bremen, although Botkin's trying to get the call. 4.4 seconds to go. Plenty of time to get a good look. Ball in for Ben Saylor. Saylor stops, passes to Homan. He pulls up, and it's off the glass. No good. And your first quarter comes to an end. 14-11. Botkins on top of New Bremen here at the Nest. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter here in New Bremen. Evan Skilleter, Darren Gilbert with you tonight. Megan Sherrick and Mia Waddle on the cameras. And the quarter starts with a loose ball. New Bremen gets it back. They trail 14 to 11. Turnaround jumper good. Make it 14 to 13 after Tiemann's basket. That's his second. He has four points. Good look right there on the quick turnaround jump shot. Got the shoulder square, finished it high. Player for Plyman. He goes baseline. Plyman inside, goes up. Can't finish. Second one up. That's no good. Gets the rebound again. Second or third attempt was blocked. Here's a three splash. 
I'll tell you the numbers Plyman's putting up early. You may see a triple-double tonight because he's at least got six rebounds going on these six points and a few assists. Absolutely. That was Brant Berger with the three to make it 17-13. New Bremen trying to answer. That one's well long, but rebound grabbed by Alex Holman. Second attempt. That goes. The answer from Gavin Schrader. You know, if Coach Stevens has got one concern right now, it's got to be the possessions off of offensive rebounds that Botkins is getting because they're having their way, you know, here at the offensive end, getting offensive rebounds and stickbacks. Gavin Schrader, only an 18% three-point shooter, but he shot both of those with a lot of confidence as Plyman turns and scores. Make it eight for Carter Plyman. They hand to Tiemann, and good effort there by Ryland Paul, but as he tried to get up, he tripped Tiemann, he'll get tacked with a foul. That's number two against Paul. Great sportsmanship right there. Two kids, two number twos going after the basketball there at half court, and both of them helped them up. J.J. Meyer checking in for Botkins. And we've got a flagrant foul called. Yeah, there was an elbow toss there on a post up. And it is going to be an intentional foul. So that was against Tiemann. It'll be free throws in the basketball for Botkins. Not sure if it was intentional or not. Either way, not a good look for New Bremen. No, anytime you swing the elbow, whether there's an intent or not an intent, it's still considered a what do they what, what do I want to say? A high risk foul. That, right. Dangerous play. Right. Plyman makes one of two. Trojans will keep the basketball up by four. It'll be Brant Berger to throw it in. Carter coming in, shooting 67% from the charity stripe. Overall's a team right at 66. J.J. Meyer will bring it up for Botkins. Meyer, a 5'5 junior. Wyman trying to post up away from the basket, guarded by Homan. Instead, it's swung around for Meyer. Plyman will try it from the other side. Nice match up here with Holman. Passes outside. Three on the way. That's too long. Rebound tipped out, but grabbed by Evan Eyink. Deep three-pointer. That's no good. I'm telling you, he has a lot of confidence. Well, they're not afraid to shoot the three. Gavin Schrader, one for three so far, but basically as soon as he touches the ball, he's looking to shoot. They've shot 246 threes coming in, converting 70 for right around 29%. Alex Homan called for the foul, and that sends Plyman back to the line. Still a four-point lead for... The Trojans on the Charles River scoreboard. Plyman with nine points, looking for 10 and 11. Won't get 10 on that one. I can only imagine the number of minutes he logs on the court. Absolutely. You know? But he's also very good in cross country and he was very successful being in the state championship four consecutive years, twice in track, basketball in 2001. That's right. Misses both of those. New Bremen back to work on offense. Home into the corner, it's I Inc. Skip pass, it's Cooper Scheib. Scheib gets inside, goes up with the left, can't hit. Got his own rebound, great effort by that young man. Now Holman, Holman inside, and he's pushed. We'll have a foul against Colton Plyman. Trojans number 
Ball in, quick three. That one's no good. Offensive rebound and a block as Hayden Zeller tried to put it back, but he gets the second effort. Yeah, really, really gutsy effort right there. You know, he got the first one rejected, sent back to him, and he gathered himself and exploded. Got it high off the backboard, gonna draw the foul there and earn himself the old fashioned opportunity for a three point play. The foul was the second called against Colton Plyman. Colton takes a seat. Ink sends the free throw through. Nice looking stroke there, 72% coming in. Five points for Ink brings his team back to within one, 20 to 19. As Plyman gets back to work. Almost lost it out of bounds, keeps the handle, goes left. Nice steal from behind. David Homan knocks it away. Here's Homan, gets inside. Open look for three. That's no good. And That's a tough break for Botkins because they, they both had their hands on the basketball and they just got to do a better job communicating. I know, you know Coach was wanting them to rebound the ball that time. They went after it aggressively. It just happened to be two of the same team. Ball in, here's Ben Saylor. Saylor picks it up, sends over to Ayink. Now David Homan. Ayink shoots, but an offensive foul away from the ball. Yeah, got him with the left forearm, creating some space. Pushing him away from the ball, rather, as Ayink is tacked with his first foul. Seven now for both teams here in the first half. 3.33 to play. J.J. Meyer brings it up. Noah Top here gives it up to Herzog. Good movement from Botkins, double teamed inside as Plyman runs right into the help, but fouled on his way up. More free throws coming up. As a coach, you gotta love it because he's, you know, Carter's looking over saying, Coach, I gotta have a blow. I'm giving it everything I got. Smart move right here by the coach, taking it, taking the timeout. That way he doesn't have to pull Carter even after these free throw attempts. And with that, we'll step aside as well. Bakken's on top of New Bremen, 20 to 19. A few minutes left here in the second quarter. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Free throws coming up for Carter Plyman. Plyman so far tonight, nine points. He's missed his last three free throws now. Yeah, that's the one he's just got to bend the knees a little bit more and get up and elevate on his toes. Well, and he's so good at scoring the basketball, misses that one as well. So good at scoring the basketball that you wonder, will they just continue to foul him until he proves that he can knock in free throws? In Trying the meantime, to see who they got there. I think it was Herzog with a hold. They did get Herzog with the foul, and that's number eight against Botkin, sending Carter Elking to the line for a one and one. Yeah, this could be potentially a four-point swing here, partner. Miss the two at one end, go to the other end with the clock stopped. That was the first free throw of the season for Elking. Can't hit. Plyman grabs the rebound. Ball with J.J. Meyer. Now Plyman. Gives it right back. De Bremen settling back into like a 2-3 matchup zone. Meyer looking for a pass. Now he finds Noah Top. 
Winston gets it back, quick fire, no good. And ball tipped away by Botkins, so it goes back to New Bremen. They still trail by one, with 2.35 to go here in the second quarter. Good effort by Grant Flora right there, the 6'4 junior, tapping the ball out of bounds for Botkins. Ball with Elking here. Now David Homan guarded closely by Plyman. Three-pointer on the way. That's off, taken by Alex Homan, but an offensive board. Second three on the way. That's no good. Plyman grabs the board and goes quickly the other way. Plyman, nice pass, but a block from behind. Nice work there by Ben Saylor. The three-pointer no good from Botkins. That was Berger. Yeah, David Holman showing some athleticism, getting that block. That three misses everything, but a good rebound by Ben Saylor. Now Holman at the rim can't finish. Tough break for New Bremen right there. Here's Plyman. J.J. Meyer sends it back over to Noah Top. They're trying to find Plyman inside. Now they find him at the elbow. Finds Meyer. Good close out there by 12. That's Carter Elking. Meyer to the corner. Gets it right back. Good possession here from Botkins. Taking their time. That three off the front. No good. Hayden Zeller grabs the rebound. Here's David Homan. Homan attacks Plyman. Gets a shot blocked. New Bremen keeps possession. Here's Elking, he floats it off the glass, no good. Plyman again, quickly the other way, little Euro step, lost the handle, and it's last touched by Plyman. New Bremen gets the basketball back. Yeah, I think if he had to do it over again, that's one where you want to jump stop and try to shoot the little floater six to eight feet, but you know, as aggressive as he is, he's going to try to get to the rim and create something there, but... That one right there rolled off himself out of bounds. They actually changed oh, actually the call. Oh, actually they did change it, okay. Referees got together. So Botkins basketball underneath. J.J. Meyer will send it in with 52 on the clock. Yeah, I think Carter wanted to gut it out the first half. He's just exhausted. Botkins without Plyman for the first time tonight. Moving it around the perimeter. And it's good timing. I mean, it's a one-point game right now. And Ball taken away. Inside and the shot. No good offensive foul called. It took the referees a second to figure it out, but they got on the same page and called the offensive foul. But you foul. know what? That's good officiating. They Absolutely. got together. I mean, there's communication there, and that's, that's the way it needs to be done. And kudos to those guys. Jordan Herzog checks back in for the Trojans with 31 on the clock. Still 20 to 19. Haven't seen a ton of scoring here in the second quarter. No, a lot to do with it is their defensive game plan by both coaches. They've done a good job neutralizing who they need to neutralize and make them work at both ends of the floor. David Homan knocks that one out of bounds. 20 on the clock. This one's in for Colin Dosek. Now Meyer back to Dosek, 15 on the clock. Dosek, the sophomore, finds Herzog. Herzog falls, gets it away. Three on the way, Noah Top got it! Big shot before the buzzer, and that does it for the first half. 23-19, first bucket of the night for Noah Top as we step aside for halftime. We'll be back with the second half after this. It's Botkins 23, New Bremen 19, right here on WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School for the start of the second half between the Botkins Trojans and the New Bremen Cardinals. Evan Skilleter and Darren Gilbert with you, and Darren, 
It's been a pretty competitive game. It's been a little sloppy, but you said it right before the end of the half. Both defenses have done really, really well executing their game plan and keeping the ball out of the bucket. Yeah, and you know, it's going to be a very entertaining second half. I'm sure both coaches are a little disappointed with the number of points they put up. But then again, like you said, they have to be pleased at the effort that both teams are possessing at the defensive end of the floor. And that's a big shot there by Botkins right there at the end of the first half. So let's see how New Bremen handles that because that's a shot in the arm, so to speak, if if your Botkins hitting a shot like that on the road after not shooting it exceptionally well last night against Jackson Center. Here's Carter Plyme into the rack, misses the shot high. He's the leading scorer on this team. He has nine so far, averages 19.4. Now Evan Iink dribbles inside, sends it out, almost wide of his target, Holman, but he grabs it. Deep three from Aaron Tiemann's short. Nice hard rebound by Ryland Paul. Quickly the other way goes Colin Dosek all the way to the rack, but he misses off glass. David Holman with the rebound. And this is what New Bremen wants to do. They want to make it a full court game. That's what when they play their best. And, you know, Botkins has got to make some decisions here, you know, just to, to hang in there and play their game. Don't get wrapped up in what New Bremen wants to do, but play Botkin Trojan style of basketball. And a good bucket at the other end by Aaron Tiemann. Dosek comes up the other way and scores. Nice half court set right there. Patience displayed and Dosek, like you said, got loose for that layup. That's Collins' first bucket. We have a three that is good. The referee says no, three pointer does not count. It was before the shot. They called it against Jordan Herzog. That's his third. And that's a tough one right there. Herzog providing a lot of size for Botkin, six foot four. And he'll be replaced by Noah Top, who is four inches shorter. Ball over the top for Homan. Three pointer on the way. Off the front, no good. Aaron Tiemann with the offensive rebound, though. Homan inside, lost it on his way up. It's grabbed by Ryland Paul, but it's taken right back. Homan gets inside, and that's too many steps. Referee agrees, and a turnover for the Cardinals. Yeah, that's uh, two possessions in a row. He tried to make something happen, and Botkins did a really good job containing the basketball and really clamping down when he got inside the paint area. Botkins back to work, up four on the Charles River scoreboard. Here's Dosek, gives it up to Ryland Paul. Now Plyman gets a touch, sends it up top for Noah Top. Now Dosek, nice quick ball handler. You know, well, he started the season playing JVs and they inserted him in the lineup and he's He's given them a big boost at both the offensive and defensive end of the floor, and you can tell he's playing with a lot of confidence. Dribbling up top, now sends it over to Ryland Paul. Nice long extended possession for the Trojans. Plyman has it knocked away. Top able to grab it. Definitely quick hands on the floor, huh? My goodness, a lot of, lot of deflections and slapping at the ball. Too much space for Carter Plyman as he knocks it in. 12 points now for Carter and a nice finish at the other end by Tiemann. Yeah, that's one of those. It's not going to make Botkin's coaching staff real happy to hit a three and then turn around and get beat in transition. They've got to get back in transition and slow that basketball down. Now Dosek, good handles, gets inside. Now Plyman tries the three. That one's no good. Berger grabs the offensive board, has it poked away, and it'll stay with Botkins. Nice crowd here in New Bremen on a Saturday night. 84 youth cheerleaders on the floor at halftime. Always brings in a lot of family. Nice environment at the nest, they call it. Good handles there by Dosek as he gets inside, and he's Bumped from behind, draws the foul. It's the first called against Cooper Scheib. 
Fouls on Scheib. The hand check. Baumbauer and Hayden Zeller check into the game for New Bremen. Plyman will send this one in from the baseline. Colton Plyman also in for Botkins. Carter goes baseline. Nice cut, nice pass, but even better defense. Plyman grabs the board, can't finish the second effort. And now a foul. I believe they're going to get Plyman. Nope, instead they call it against Ryland Paul. That's number three against Ryland. Yeah, Ryland, you know, plays exceptionally hard at both ends of the floor, but he hasn't been able to get into a rhythm because of those two early fouls and then just coming in and getting one right there. He took one to the chops. Hopefully he's okay to the mouth area. New Bremen with Hayden Zeller. Zeller just takes it inside, floats it up, and it rolls around and in. A little right to left spin, got his feet underneath him, knocked a little 10 footer down. That's a what they call a tweener shot. That's a tough, difficult shot, especially off the dribble. I like the high release as well for the tall player with seven points, a steal here. Nice play there by Teeman. Teeman pulls up for three. A fight for the rebound. It will go to the Trojans with 3.41 to go in the third quarter. Still a three-point lead for Botkins on the Charles River scoreboard. It's been a fast-paced, quick-moving game. Low scoring, but as we said, both these defenses playing very well. Now a steal. Hayden Zeller. Zeller goes to the rack, and a nice job slowing down at the rim and putting that in. Nice fundamentally sound play, like you said. Got his body under control and took it up off two feet and exploded. J.J. Meyer in the game, hands to Plyman. Meyer gets it back, gives it over to Dosek. Dosek inside, now floats it out to Plyman. Skip pass, three on the way. That's no good, misses badly. Teeman, he goes inside. He's blocked, but a foul called. I think they got Carter Plyman across the arm. It is indeed Carter Plyman. Just his first foul. A lot of fouls called in the first half, but none called against Plyman. So, number one against him. First free throw from Teeman is good. He's a 59% free throw shooter. Coming into tonight, 27 attempts on the season. Looked good there. Ties the score at 28. Getting close to his average, a little over 12 a game. Right now sitting with nine. That one misses. Plyman grabs the rebound. Here's J.J. Meyer. Guarded tightly by Dylan Baumbauer. Now teaming against Plyman. Plyman turns, off balance shot goes. Yeah, that's the strength that he would not display two years ago. He's really worked at his game, worked at his physique and his body. You know, just, it's unbelievable how he's finishing now. But that comes with maturity and being in the gym in the weight room. Baumbauer lost the handle on his way up. It was tipped away. I think Borger actually got a hand on it, I think, and got a little block there. Nice play by that young man, another senior. I'm glad you could see it because these front row seats are great, but every now and then a referee gets in your line of sight. Appreciate the hospitality from the new Bremen Athletic Department. This is fantastic. Here at the Nest, here's Baumbauer. Back to David Homan. Now the pass goes inside. This is Zeller. Zeller can't hit. Rebound Carter Elking. Elking's give him good minutes off the bench, too. The three went in. The foul was away from the ball. It should count. And it does indeed. So Elking gets the three to go. Actually, I think it was. I'm not sure who went to. I believe they called Brant Berger with the foul. 
It's on the board at least. Either way, the three-pointer counted. And who hit that, partner? I didn't see who hit it. Yeah, yeah, it, it was Carter Elking with okay. the three. Now inside, a tough shot, no good from Evan Eying. And now a foul away from the ball again. This game has been so incredibly physical. It'll be Carter Elking with his second foul, second against New Bremen of the half. Yeah, the bench for New Bremen's really give them a lift with Zeller and Elking. And that's great, you know, to see that you can get that big of a contribution. Same thing with Botkins. Botkins has done a good job with their personnel that's coming off the bench. As you can tell by the score, 31 to 30, late here in this third quarter. Now that pass tipped away, last touch by New Bremen, so it stays with Botkins in the corner. A lot of lead changes here in the second half. Right now, New Bremen with the 31-30 lead. Appreciate the sponsorship from Charles River of our scoreboard tonight. That pass is tipped on its way in. Last touch by New Bremen, so it will stay with Botkins, but on the other side, and Carter Plyman kind of gingerly making his way over. I don't think either coach has sat down the whole game. I Have they? Right. I mean, they've coached from tip off to right now. Good job by both of them keeping their kids mentally into it. I think that's Bambauer on the foul. Got him across the arm. So Kleiman will head to the line. He's struggling from the free throw line tonight. On the season, 66%, nearing 100 free throws attempted. As a matter of fact, this will be free throw number 100 on the season for him. First one's up and good, 15 points for the senior. Alex Homan checking in for New Bremen. So the second free throw goes and misses short. Homan passes ahead. That's Iink. Iink pulls up for three. That's well short. Rebound pulled in by Brant Berger. The one thing about Dosek is that he dribbles a little bit high. When well, he, here correct that, you know, as he gets more mature right, and exactly. everything. And shot from the corner. Big How about shot. that? Knocked in by Jordan Herzog. Plyman with the assist. Now New Bremen working at the other end. That three's on the way. It's short. Berger with the rebound. Couple big rebounds by that young man. 14 seconds on the clock. Plyman has it up top. This is when Botkins is at their best, when they can run a half-court set. Plyman says, forget your set. I'm going to pull up. He misses that. It goes out of bounds with 2.7 on the clock. Well, and I think he felt like, you know, if you're not going to come guard me, I'm going to let it rip. And I think you're right. he felt comfortable from that 24-25 NBA spot and darn near knocked it down. 33% three-point shooter on the season. He's got great touch. Ball sent in for Tiemann. Tiemann at the buzzer, almost gets it to go, but that does it for the third quarter. 34-31, three-point lead for Bakkins as we step aside. Big fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Welcome you back to New Bremen where the Cardinals trail by three, 34-31 to the Botkins Trojans. Aaron Tiemann trying to change that, but misses left. A little quick huh, on the release. He's really never been able to get into the flow you know, partner. I mean, he got those two quick early fouls in the first quarter and just seems like he's a little bit off, so to speak. But, you know, he's, he's, he's battled through these fouls here. So 
he s seems to be getting a little bit more comfortable. That's a big shot right there. I don't know who hit that, but that was a big one. That was Ryland Paul with his first basket of the evening. Oh, pardon me, he has nine points. One more correction. That is his first basket of the night. So Ryland Paul with the big three and a timeout taken by New Bremen. Well, that's a big one there for him because he was in foul trouble too. It almost seems nobody can get into any rhythm. If you get in foul trouble and you come back in, remember he had those two come in in the third quarter and he got caught for a foul down here. So he's, he's set. You know, maybe these kids, when they start warming up, maybe this 37-31 can turn into an offensive uh, juggernaut here in the fourth quarter. Absolutely. Hey, make sure that you tune in for season 18 of Sports Report. Every Friday night, you can join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around all season long Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Now, normally when you see a timeout after the first possession of a quarter, the coach is pretty fired up because Someone or all of them were not listening at the break. Well, this is this is where, you know, you're, you're going to have to grind it. They've dug themselves a hole at six. Now they've got to come down and get a solid possession and, and, and come away with some points here. New Bremen brings it up with Cooper Scheib. Here's Alex Homan. David Hoban currently on the bench. Ball inside with Zeller. Zeller backs his way down, turns, floats it up, no good. Plyman grabs the rebound. Good job on the wall up there by the 6'4 junior Herzog, making it a little difficult for Zeller to hit that little 10-footer. Here's Plyman. Three-pointer on the way, that's too long. Taken by Brant Berger, and we have a foul against Botkins. I think he snuck in a hand to the back there to create some space. And I know I know Jordan Herzog's a little frustrated, but if he did get that hand in the lower part of the back, I know he's trying to be discreet, but the official was right there on top of it and saw it. That was his fourth foul, so he takes a seat. 6.48 to go. Now a foul away from the ball. It's going to be Ryland Paul attacked with his fourth. Yeah, I think his responsibility is to just chase Teeman and try to run him off the three-point line and make him earn everything. And he got caught right there chasing and got a hand on the jersey. Teeman sends it up top. Herzog almost grabbed it. Pardon me, that was Berger, but instead it ends up with Zeller. Zeller with the pass to Teeman. Hoban thought about a three. That's Alex. Now Zeller back out to Homan. Tiemann guarded by J.J. Meyer. Tiemann goes up and finishes through the contact. Tiemann up to 11 points, a chance for 12 at the line as J.J. Meyer tackled his first foul. Yeah, that was one of those where he caught the ball on the wing and just ripped it, kept it low, got to, went to the baseline with that baseline drive. Hung up, drew the foul, used the backboard, knocked it in, got the old-fashioned and won. 12 points for Tiemann. New Bremen back to within three, 37-34. Plyman and the Trojans trying to hold on to the lead. Plyman dribbles to his right, draws a double team. His pass taken away. That was Hayden Zeller with the steal, and now Tiemann fouled on the layup. And then there's a flurry of fouls as that's number nine against Bakins of the half and the second against J.J. Meyer. Yeah, I think they got Meyer with a hand in the back on the, on the release. Again, New Bremen off the turnover. A turn and burn situation. That's, again, they do that. That's what they do best. And they take their defense and create their offense. And... You know, this, they have to take and convert these free throws. That one goes. Split the pair. 13 points for Tiemann, 37-35. Botkins leads. Dosek brings it up. Gives it up to Noah Top. Now Dosek off the screen. Scramble, 
Good ball movement here from Botkins. Kleiman has it. Kleiman attacks and finishes through contact. A big bucket as New Bremen was inching closer and closer. That's the one-on-one -on -one isolation that he recognized it and just ripped it to the baseline and took it to the contact and finished it at the rim. Alex Holm intact with his second. Kleiman gets the free throw, 18 points for him. Four fouls against New Bremen, by the way. Young man needs about 103 to reach that elusive club of a 1,000 point career. At the other end, Alex Homan goes up and finishes. Back to a three point game, four points for Homan. You notice where the last couple shots for Bremen's coming from, right? In the paint. Kleiman posting up inside. Nice pass. Shot no good. David Homan with the rebound. Another quick pass ahead as Zeller lost the handle. Able to get it back. Now here's Homan. Homan to the corner. Teeman works his way inside. He floats it up. That's no good. Last touched by New Bremen, so Botkins with the team rebound. Four thirty-seven on the clock. Forty to thirty-seven on the Charles River scoreboard. Noah Top passes outside to Dosek. He lost it going in. Now Holman gets the lead pass. Holman gets the easy bucket. Ryland Paul couldn't really challenge that one with those four fouls. Great point. Yeah, he, he had to let him go on that one. Now Plyman inside. Plyman into the contact, misses the shot. Rebound falls to Evan Eying. Holman. Inside, how about the left-handed layup off the glass and a quick timeout taken by New Bremen as they take the lead 41 to 40 here at the Nest. A good ball game for you right here on WOSN. We'll be back after this. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. 41 to 40 the score here with 346 to go. New Bremen on top of Botkins. And I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had, partner. Yeah, it's it's been uh, quite a few. You know, one thing about the officials tonight, you know, when you when you don't notice them, it means That's they're right. doing a heck of a job. And you know, during the third, between the third and fourth quarter break, one of the officials came over and spoke to us, and he didn't have to do that. He said he's from Dayton area, and I think one's from Northwest Ohio, and the other two, the other one I believe is from Piqua. So, That's right. it's a very well officiated game. Botkin's really lucky right there because there was a loose ball on the floor and they were able to chase it down. Ball back and forth. It's with Dosek. Now Jordan Herzog backs his way down. Almost lost his balance. Nice little pass, but a good block. Alex Holman denying the shot. That young man come out of it. <laughs> Nowhere and got his hands on that one, didn't he? Now a timeout taken by Botkins with 2.54 to go. The score remains 41 to 40. We'll be right back. Welcome back to New Bremen. 41 to 40. The Cardinals on top of the Botkins Trojans. Many lead changes in this one as we're under three to play in this fourth quarter. 
Here's Carter Plyman, 18 points so far tonight. Skip pass, three-pointer, Noah Top doesn't hit, but a foul. They got teaming. Didn't get a body on the box out and got caught there. And great effort. I think that was Paul getting the offensive rebound, got grabbed across the arm. So number three against Teeman, number five against New Bremen. Nowhere to inbound and a smart play there by Carter Plyman just sending it off the defender. That's a high basketball IQ right there by that young man. Still struggling to get it in, but finally finds Jordan Herzog. Now Plyman gets it back, 2.30 on the clock. Plyman sure. inside, it's knocked away, and it stays with Bakkins. I'm sure, partner, that he's seen his share of double teams no, and triple yeah. teams, but I like his demeanor on the court. He, uh, he, he just, he's a team player. Oh boy, I think we got a push. And they're gonna call Bombauer with the foul. That's his fourth, team sixth. That's one of those he didn't keep the wing in, and wing, so to speak, is that arm, and he extended it. And got a foul called on him, didn't he? Now Dosek inside, passes out to Herzog. Plyman. Plyman gets inside, nice spin to the basket. Turned away from the double team. 20 points for Plyman. He gives his team the 42-41 lead. Now Homan gets inside. That's knocked away from him. Good hustle, but ultimately stays with the Cardinals. That was Noah Top diving for the ball. 120 seconds to play in regulation. 42-41, Botkins on top. Homan is just so quick with the basketball, getting to the rim. Unfortunately, he brought it down there, and they got their hands on it and stripped it. Homan gets it, quick pass to the corner. It's teaming. Hopefully we don't get a shot from the left corner. That's right. Student section standing right next to us. And by golly, that's okay. They're supporting their fellow you know, classmates, which that's is right. awesome. Teeman thought about a deep three, pulls it back down. Dribbles inside. I don't know how he kept the handle. And now Zeller with the nice basket. Young man's had a big, big night for him with 11. Lead back in favor of New Bremen by one. Plyman brings it down, and Botkins will take a timeout with 125 to go. They trail by one, 43-42. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to high school basketball on WOSN. 125 to go here in New Bremen. The Cardinals with a 43-42 lead over the Botkins Trojans. Trojans with the basketball. Somewhere around the 12 mark in terms of lead changes here in this fourth quarter alone. And Plyman's pass taken away, just kind of floats it right at home in. Yeah, the other skip passes he threw, he had uh, a lot of aggressiveness on it. That one was a floater, like you said. Now New Bremen with the ball and the lead, 50 seconds on the clock. See how long Bakken's waits to foul. Certainly wouldn't do it now. Well, and this is where your assistant coaches play a huge part on who to foul. Oh, wow, the lob in the finish. Not a bucket we expected at that point in the game, but Alex Holman with the big time finish, and he puts New Bremen up by three. Yeah, that was one of those that was a back door. I think everybody in here, including us, thought he was going to catch it in midair and bring it down. No, he caught it in midair and banked it off the backboard. Very athletic play. Nice pass, nice finish. Only double-figure scorer so far for New Bremen is Aaron Tiemann. And only one for Botkins as well. I could be wrong here, but is this 
the biggest lead that Bremen has had tonight? It is, it is partner. That's good eyes there. They have either been up by one or been trailing in this entire game. That is the first time they've had more than a one-point lead. Well, we're going to see free throws. Both teams are in a bonus. You know, Botkin's down to one timeout. New Bremen and Coach Stevens with the three. You've been a coach for a long time. I ask all the coaches I know this question. You are up by three. The opponent has the basketball late in the game. Do you foul and force free throws because they can't get three points from two free throws? I think it depends on who has, you know, if, you, if your assistant coaches have done their job and they know who the good free throw shooters are and who the, the ones that struggle, may not be a bad idea. This ball sent deep into the backcourt. Or you take and you double team your best free throw shooters, the opponent, and make them give it up. 20 seconds on the clock. Six fouls for New Bremen, eight for Botkins. Down to 15 seconds. Plyman jabs, three, good. How about that? 23 points for the senior as Plyman just jabs to get himself some space. Nothing but net. Where did we see that shot at, though? Wasn't that the one he shot right there before from about the same spot at the end That's of the right. first half? Or maybe not the first half, but I know it was one of the quarters. But, uh, yeah, they give him space, and he's a gamer, and he's going to let her go, and he's hit 19 of them on the season. He's your leading scorer at 19-4. 33% three-point shooter, 50% from the field. You know, people that you know want to say, well, he's he's averaging 19.4 points a game. Well, let me hear to tell you, he rebounds it at 7.3, and he's also the team's leader in assist coming into the night with 42. 11.2 seconds, full court to go for New Bremen. 45 all. Tiemann brings it up, and he's going to call a timeout so they can draw up a sideline inbound play, otherwise known as the slob, right? Sideline side out of bounds. You know slob. what? I, I saw one at Wayne Trace a couple weeks ago with Coach Etzler. What a great high school game, and they brought it up and called a timeout with four seconds to go, and he, he ran a cross-screen action and up the top, and they ran a slip screen and found... Uh, sheets down on the block, and it, as the clock went off, it was just one of those where just enough to cause confusion and uh, big, big win for them. So it'll be interesting to see which, you know, what which play Coach Stevens and his staff draws up here. I think he's got a lot of options. He has so many tall players that they can lob it into under the basket. They have Teeman, of course, that can handle it. We've seen Homan with the quick handles and an ability to get into the paint, distribute, and finish. Well, look, what done. look what Zeller's done. Look what Zeller's done. Absolutely. So there'll be six seconds on the clock, just a little over. And this is one Botkins can't foul because it's, gonna, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation for New Bremen. So David Homan will inbound. The old box set. Let's see what they do. So the starters on the floor for New Bremen. Homan sends it in. Homan gets it back with four on the clock. Homan all the way to the rack and off the glass and in. And that's going to do it. You got, your, you got the basketball in your most athletic player. You know, he's a kid that has been around a long time, and you can see he wanted the ball in his hands, and he does what he does best, and that's get the basketball to the rim, and he got it there and finished it. Big shot by that young man. Homan, the quarterback, the leader, David Homan with the buzzer-beating layup as he found the lane wide open and in a non-conference affair, New Bremen comes out on top in a game that they really didn't lead for much of. 
No, but they just kept hanging in there, kept hanging in there. This is a tough one for Botkins, because you know what? Both teams deserve to win tonight. It's just a heck of a play. It was actually, it was a loose ball there, and Homan, with his quickness, ran the basketball down, and basically he knew what to do with it. We've seen him play for how many years now on the, on the football field on Friday nights and also on the hardwood, and he got to the rim, and Botkins were, was very slow to, to in the rotation, and it's just one of those. And again, you're looking at a team in New Bremen that has, what we say, nine seniors versus two for Botkins. This is going to be a game, along with their schedule, that they played the day, Devin. I think it's going to play huge dividends because they go south, and you know them and the likes of Jackson Center, the success they've had going south. I think this one is only going to pay dividends for them when it comes time to place themselves in the brackets. Absolutely. New Bremen moving to eight and five on the season. Botkins drops to eight and seven. Want to thank the New Bremen Athletic Department one more time for their hospitality tonight. Also want to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Charles River in Spencerville. Learn more about them and their jobs at jobs.criver.com to apply today. Yeah, real quick, I'd like to also extend a thank you to Mr. Plyman from Botkins for giving us all the stats and also, you know, Coach Stevens, I know it's so time consuming, but we greatly appreciate it. We hope it makes the telecast even better for everyone to enjoy. Absolutely. And another thank you to Megan Sherrick and Mia Waddle for their effort tonight. And as always, a thank you to you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Basketball on WOS. And for Darren Gilbert, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night, and God bless.